So, for me to start Drop Zone Tactical, the reason why I wanted to start it in the first place was to teach everyday people, just like you, to defend themselves and their family, right? I wanted to start Drop Zone Tactical because I come from a protector mindset, protector world, and uh, ever since I was a, a teenager, I was trying to learn the art of sneaking around at, at my mom's house and trying to scare her in hopes to successfully master the, se the, the secret sniper super ninja techniques, right? And so as I got older and I went to the military, started learning these firearm skills and self-defense skills, one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was always protecting somebody else, was to feel a sense of that warrior spirit. I wanted to be able to give that perspective to you guys who have that itch or who have never experienced something like that before. So what missions and values drive my business is to ensure that you guys get the skills, knowledge, and confidence necessary to be able to defend yourself, right? It comes from the art of loving your neighbor, right? I'm a faith-based guy. I believe in Jesus. And so uh, you may not, and that's totally cool. My courses aren't designed to make you believe that way, but the fundamentals of that come into loving you guys, loving the students that come and who are ready and willing to learn, right? I teach what I, I teach and then give you guys these skills in hopes that you can utilize them or hopefully not utilize them, but have the capabilities of it, if need be, to defend yourself, your family, and your loved ones, right? And so the mission core values for Drop Zone Tactical is to ensure that you can leave out your front door more confident than you came into class or prior, or how you may be now, right? So we all know that the world isn't getting any safer currently, and it's a scary time to live. So I want to make sure that you guys can leave out the front door and you can be aware of your surroundings and not be a victim to violence. All right, so this one's an interesting one. We make our training unique, and this is kind of the what sets you apart, why you should take training with us, right? Our training is unique because it's private based. We have a private range, so when we go to the range, it is just you and me or your group and me or our team and we do that so that you get the individual attention so think about it about it as like a personal trainer when you deal with a personal trainer they spend that time to train with you to get to learn your story to get to learn you and what works for you and what doesn't work for you and we structure it the same way right when you come and book a course we ask you specific questions that allow us to enable to teach you better right to get to know you better so that we can track your progress along the way and you get the most bang for your buck in every course and it's more catered to you and not just a cookie cutter course because everybody learns a little bit differently right so we want to make sure that we're giving you the best value possible while we teach you so drop zone tacticals ideal customer is anybody who is ready to learn ready to become a protector and comes humble right I get it, you may have, have all this special operations, high speed training, or learned off YouTube and a YouTube operator. Got it, tracking, right? You've been shooting all your life. Uncle Joe showed you how to shoot. That's fantastic. I grew up around guns uh, here and there. It was more self-taught than family taught, right? But with that being said, you always wanna be a student first and you always wanna come with a humble mindset. You don't need to prove anything to me or to our team or of instructors that you know something. You don't need to tell us that you know something, right? You're paying us to learn from us, to learn our skill set. And we don't want to compete with your knowledge as in, hey, let's test how much you know. It's more of, hey, come and learn what we have. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, you can throw the things out that you don't like and keep the things that you do like. And then at the end goal, creating your own methods, right? That's the old goal. Your method might not work for me and my method not might not work for you but we can take something from each other so come ready to learn humble with a great attitude and we got you covered so the most common student that we get their most common fears are fear of life and death right fear of the world that we live in fear of being attacked by somebody being unprepared right so when we teach students their main concern is just the fear of their own life and safety and security. 
So typically the goals of our students, right, talking about their fears, is to overcome those fears. So their fear of firearms, their fear of being hurt or harmed, or their family being hurt or harmed, or maybe they have been hurt or harmed already, and they want to take those steps to overcome that and no longer be a victim. And that's what we're here to teach you. We're here to change your perspective so you can look at the world in a more confident manner while at the same time allowing yourself to not be a victim to people who want to do harm or violence to you. So our students' goals are to overcome obstacles that they see in their day-to-day -day life or to prevent obstacles that may they may see in their day-to-day -day life. So Typical training session for Drop Zone, right? You come on our website or you give us a call and we begin to ask you a series of questions. What are your goals? Why do you want to take firearms training? Have you ever been in a self-defense situation before? Why do we ask you these questions? They're not to deter you from taking a class with us or to say, no, you can't take a class with us. This is to get for us to get to know you on an introductory level so that we can recommend a class that's suited to you. We're not going to recommend a class that you're not ready for or just give you a class just because to make a quick dollar off you. We want to guide you in the right direction and make sure that your path is aligning with your goals. Also, we need to know how we're going to teach you. If you've been a victim to, uh, let hypothetically, let's say domestic violence, we're going to speak to you in a different way and also relate it to things that you may have experienced in that. So hopefully build, bridge the gap and make your understanding a lot higher than just assuming that you know something when you don't. Right. Once we get you into a class, you pay for it, we schedule you, and we book you for a class. We book around your time and our range's availability. So we try to work around your schedule so it's the best, most optimal time for you, and you get time to prepare for it. Next, when we go into the range, or depending on the class, it could be classroom, it's about four hours of training. Now, while we teach you, it is a little bit of lecture, me speaking to you, while at the same time, practical application. Right? People tend to learn in a couple of different ways. Reading, listening, and doing. So we try to incorporate all of that at the same time while we train out on the range. Now our range is an outdoor range. It's a private range, so it should be you guys and me. And the reason it's like that is again, shooting indoors, there's a lot of concussion. It can be very distracting or very scary for new time shooters. And so we wanna make it secluded just us out on the range so we spend that dedicated time with you afterwards we'll ensure that you know the knowledge by consistently checking up with you hey do you understand this do you have any questions and then we will ask you for a little bit of an after action report what did you think about the class what some improvements do you think and we'll give you our recommendations for your next steps whether you take training with us or you don't so i kind of answered that earlier we make our training personalized from the beginning to the middle to the end Right at the beginning, we ask you questions. During the course, we get to know you a little bit more after the introductory classes or any introductory questions. And we get to know you based on your responses and just kind of how you're performing. And then at the end of it, we also ask you about your opinions, what you thought about the class, some things that we, we can improve on, and how your view is now. Right? And then afterwards, even after class, we'll try to message you and see how you're doing if you're keeping up with the training do you remember some stuff right and what do you remember what do you not remember and then again that keeping that personal trainer framework we want to make sure that you get back into a class because one firearms class will not make you a master and it will not give you the sufficient training that you need to ultimately protect yourself it'll enhance your abilities dramatically from nothing to something absolutely but you're still not quite there yet, right? I've been doing this for years and I still look for training opportunities because my skills are not all the way there yet. And yours definitely won't be either. So we make sure that you guys feel safe and comfortable a few different ways, but one of the main ways is constantly going over the universal firearm safety rules. And if you don't know those, they're everywhere, no matter what firearm you're handling, no matter what class you take, the, the rules, about four rules, that you have to abide by to stay safe. And so we constantly drill that into you and we quiz you to ensure that you remember it, right? The key to remembering something is through repetition. So we'll ask you, hey, what are the four universal firearm safety rules? And we'll go over those. And if you don't remember remember them, that's okay. We still guide you until the very end. And so by the end of it, you'll get sick and tired of us saying those. 
after that, we ensure that we don't push you past the limits that you can't go. If you're not ready to run, shoot, and do backflip ninja cool moves, we're not going to push you to go and do that just for because the curriculum says it. We're going to make sure that you only go as far as you're capable of doing in a safe manner. Absolutely. So, I had a student that works for the government, this is a female student, and she was fearful of firearms completely, was afraid of them being on the table, was nervous about sound, you name it. It, it was it's kind of a being scared, being an intimidating factor of even just having firearms around, right? So we started initially by utilizing training firearms, learning how a firearm works, the process and procedures of handling one, and breaking it down, getting hands-on training with it, learning how to actually function and utilize the firearm, manipulate it. As the course went on, we eventually start getting to picking up a firearm and handling it. And by the end of the class, not only was accuracy highly improved, or hitting exactly where we needed to inside of a six inch circle, but at the same time, manipulating a firearm as if they've been doing it their entire lives without me having to instruct it step by step to load it, how to load it, and rack the slide, and even handle malfunctions. And that is one of the best stories that you can get within a four hour period, overcoming fear, learning shooting fundamentals and being able to handle a firearm like a pro that that says feats about what students are capable of and what you're capable of. So I've noticed confidence boosts. I've noticed mindset changes and perspective changes. I've also noticed that they are seeking to tell others about the skills that they learn because they understand the value and the importance of it right some of the biggest changes that mean the most are are those of the mindset switch i can see the world in a different light it's no longer what it used to be for me it's now well here are some possible threats here's some possible avenues of approach that i can take and here's how i can prepare me and my family better those are the best transformations that you can get so all of them mean something to me all of every single review that we get on our Google reviews page or text messages that we get from students, they all have equal an equal place in my heart, if you will, right? But in any testimonial, it's important to us that we are giving you something of value, right? I can't say one is above the other, but the best thing is is being able to give you some knowledge that changes your perspective, that changes your life and makes an impact in your life in some way, shape or form for long term protection, along for longevity. Really, I can't say one is above the other. As long as we get to make a positive impact in your life, that we did our job. That's that's what we look for. So what I would say to somebody who's considering firearms training with Drop Zone Tactical with another business or in general and just kind of food for thought is to go and just take a leap of faith, right? Go and do some research on your goals. What is your initial goal? What do you want to do? And then look at the firearms training business, make sure that their goals align with yours and that you're basically interviewing the instructor and or the business. Right? You don't want to go somewhere that's not in it for you, that is just in it for the dollar. Right? You don't want that. So look for an instructor or a firearms training business that has the same skill set for one, mission statement, and goal structure that is designed for you. Not every business is designed for your specific skill set or something that you're specifically looking for. Some are just tactics based, some are beginner based, and some are a blend of both. So you gotta have to look at, at that area and that skill set and then, you know, what are their views? How do they teach? Is it uh, aggressive right off the bat or is it slow, basic, by, um, you know, by the numbers, progressive kind of structure? So do some research, go get training, even if it's from drop zone or if it's not from drop zone, it's vital. No matter how experienced you are, and you can probably ask experienced guys, whether they be in law enforcement or the military, because we also train law enforcement and military and civilians, is training is a never ending journey, just as fitness would be a never ending journey, right? You get to your goal, and once you get to your goal, you always set another goal, or you want to maintain that goal, right? And so training is a never ending journey, and it's a progressive thing. I've been training for years. I've been in the gun industry for years and defensive 
the defensive lifestyle for for years and yet I still don't know everything and yet I can still do better some at something somewhere right and so this this journey of learning and protecting and becoming a defender for good is a never-ending journey but don't see it as something that you can never accomplish right you as you get this training it'll become second nature but there's always a new innovation new technology new tactics new strategies and new developments as our environment changes we need to be adaptable so if you're an experienced shooter you should already know this but go and continue your education even if you're an instructor go and continue education learn how to speak differently learn how to communicate differently learn how to approach things in a different structure So I hope students gain a different perspective on the world. They understand and they look at the world as, is this a good place for me and my family to be at and is it not? While also developing a sense of confidence. Right? I wanna make sure that you guys are confident to tell somebody no when they've crossed that line. And then also being able to commit violence to those who wanna do evil upon you and your family. Right? We as instructors and in the firearms and training business, and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of instructors and most law enforcement as well, that we're probably not going to be there for you the moment you need us, right? Instructors, I can probably tell you we're most likely not going to be at all because we don't, we're not first responders. But the first responders also take time for you to get there, right? So when you need them, you call them, but you're calling them, right? They're not immediately there. So you have to be your first line of defense. And typically you win 100% of the fights that you don't attend. So the initial curve there is to stay out of bad environments so what do we want from you out of drop zone tactical what's our goal from you is to impact your life in a positive way so you now become a force for good you can defend yourself and your family and as we go to family to family to family and you guys come and train with us we now develop a community of good like-minded protectors that are confident in handling themselves so even if you leave with nothing else, if we can just change your perspective to look at the world a little bit differently, look at your life a little bit differently, which causes you to change even just the smallest things, maybe even getting some security cameras for your house, we've done our job, right? We want to give you skills that you hopefully never have to utilize, but give you the capability of learning those skills. So if you did need to utilize them, you would survive a life-threatening situation.